Hey everyone, welcome to Brainy Musician. So today I'm going to share with you another exercise on how to get started on the guitar. So if you have not seen the first exercise, the link is up above and in the description box below. You can go check it out. If you have seen it, then how often have you been practicing? You can tell me in the comments. So this exercise helps us get familiar with the fretboard and the reason why I asked if you have seen the first video is because this exercise involves picking. So let me quickly grab my guitar and I'll show you the exercise. So this also not only gets us familiar with the fretboard but the strings on the fretboard because sometimes we mess up the strings where we place our fingers and we'll end up playing the wrong chord. So this helps you locate where the strings are, helps you see where you place your fingers. So I'll be using first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, so that you know what I'm talking about. So let's grab our picks and get started. So I'll be placing my first finger, first fret, sixth string. If you do not remember, the top string is called 6 while the lowest is called the 1st. So the numbers are upside down on the guitar, but like I said, 1st string of 1st fret 6th string, you pluck it once. Then you place your 2nd finger, 2nd fret, 3rd finger, 3rd fret, and then 4th finger, 4th fret. After that, you see how my fingers are placed, all of them, same string, but different frets. They're not all on the same fret, they're all on different separate frets. And then you pluck once again, but you lift your fingers off. Then you go to the next fret. I personally like to start from the 1st fret all the way to the 10th because going past the 10th my fingers are too close so it doesn't have the effect like it should but you can go further if you want, it's your choice. After I go from the 10th fret I go all the way back to the 1st fret then I go to the next string or the other option is you stay on the same fret but you go separate strings. So you go all the way from the first fret, you do that, all the way to the last string, which is the first string, and then you go back up. And then you change your fret, second fret, go do the same thing, all the way to the last fret you want to do it. The other part of this exercise, you'll be doing a little more picking, which is four times. If you don't remember, the picking was twice down, twice up. And you're plucking each finger four times, like I said. And then you're like, and then the same thing, go to the next fret, do the same thing. You can go horizontal, vertical, your choice. So let me just quickly come closer and I'll just show you. When you place your fingers, be careful not to place it on this because if you do, it will end up giving you a buzzing or muted sound. Do not put it too close to the end when you're on the other fret. That will also get the same thing. Rather, try and put it as much as you can on the middle or as close as you can here because that's what gives it sound otherwise you get like I said the buzzing or muted sound. At first you will accidentally place your fingers a little close to these or or on top. That's because you're not that's because of not being used to it and your fingers are not a little straight your hands is not um, loosen out as much. This also helps with loosening out. And so be patient. This will get frustrating. I know how it feels. I was also frustrated when I first started this. I did not want to do it again because it was frustrating. I still get frustrated sometimes on doing this exercise. The reason for that is it's boring, but it helps. You also have a little pain in your fingers because like they say, your fingertip is the most sensitive part of your body. But you, over time you will develop um, thick skin. You can maybe not see it on my fingers, but I have thick skin on this hand because of playing the guitar. 
It will develop over a couple of months. It didn't just happen a few days. It would happen in a couple of months. But some people put mittens, finger mittens on. I recommend not to do that because you will not know how hard you're pressing on your string. So it's better to do just your fingers. And I also recommend that you use your pinky a lot. I did not do that. So these three, these three fingers had thick skin, but my pinky did not, and it was painful. So I recommend that you do do the pinky a lot, the same way you do the other fret. I mean fingers that will help and for example like I said hand loosens out if you see Angus Young of ACDC playing Thunderstruck you see his hands moving fast because his hands his muscles in his hands are loose so this also helps to loosen out as you saw my hands were stretched so if you are a professional guitarist and you want to give any suggestions or advice I'm open to that in the comments if you find this helpful give it a like and subscribe to the channel Thanks for all the subscribers that are there and all future subscribers that will be there thanks to it, them in advance. This really motivates me to make more amazing content for everyone. And I'll see you in the next video.